pretty awesome, right? iPhone screaming to a smart TV. Completely free, no third party apps. It's absolutely built into it and it doesn't lag. It's HD as well. I mean, it's so cool. Let's dive right into it. Hey, what is up, everybody? I'm Riz and welcome to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you how you can screen mirroring your iPhone to a smart TV or how to share your iPhone to a smart TV. All right, so this works with literally any iPhone you have. In this case, I'll be using my daily driver, but it doesn't matter what iPhone you're using, it works just the same, okay? Also, we don't need any third party apps. It's completely free, it's wireless, and it's completely built into it. And it's really, really simple. Let's just dive right into it. All right, so first things first, first off is the connection. First, we need to make sure your iPhone is connected to some sort of a connection, okay? So just go to your uh, iPhone settings, go all the way to your Wi-Fi settings. By the way, if you don't have Wi-Fi available, that is completely okay. You can also use mobile data if you want to. Right now, mine is turned off, but be careful, mobile data is not free. Depending on your network, it will cost you credit, okay? So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna go to Wi-Fi settings and make sure my iPhone is connected to my home Wi-Fi, as you can see on your screen. And that's pretty much it. That's all we need to do on the iPhone. Let's jump back to the TV and let's do the same thing on the TV as well. All right, so this is a Roku Express smart TV, as you can see on your screen. So the first thing you wanna do, by the way, don't worry if you don't, if you, if you, if you yours isn't a Roku Express TV, that is completely okay. Just go to the settings page uh, and go to the uh, go to the network settings and inside the network settings as you can see mine is connected But if you have never done this before go to the setup setup connection tab and click on wireless It will automatically search for all the available uh, networks that you have on uh, That available <laughs> that are available to you as you can see mine is connected. So just click on your network It will ask you for a password it will ask you for the password, just click OK, and it will automatically start connecting it for you. As you can see, mine is connected, and there you go, mine is connected, and there you go, mine is connected and ready to go. All right, by the way, one thing to be, one thing to make sure is to make sure your iPhone and, wait, okay, one thing to make sure is to make sure your iPhone and your TV are on the same connection. As you can see, both are connected to my home network. That's what we need, okay? So once the TV is connected, go back to the uh, settings page and go all the way down once you see Apple, AirPlay, and HomeKit. It should be available if you have a smart TV just like I do. Just click on it. And again, if you have never done this before, this is going to ask you for some sort of a uh, password or something. But don't worry, as you can see, I've done this before and you can also set up the home kit as well. All right. So once you are on the AirPlay and home kit settings, that's com that's all we need. OK, and also you can you have options. You can uh, you can set up the code if you want to. So people don't connect randomly to your TV and stuff like that. I'm sorry about this, uh, the focus thingy. But now let's go. Let's jump back to the iPhone and let's do this. All right, so on your iPhone, really, really simple instructions, nothing fancy, okay? So swipe down the control center, and once you are inside the control center, you have the option for the screen mirroring, as you can see. Tiny, tiny icon right next to the, uh, right next to the brightness. Just click on it, and it will automatically search it for you. As you can see, mine is Roku Express 4K TV, so I'm just gonna click on it, and there you go. It is connected. That, that's how quick it was, by the way. It's pretty, pretty smooth as well. Let me just show you how it works. So you can see, it doesn't lag at all, and it's really HD as well. Pretty, pretty awesome, right? And uh, you can, you have a lot of options, by the way. You can watch YouTube videos if you want to. You can, uh, you can do, you can do a lot, to be honest. So yeah, you can, you can watch, uh, you can watch YouTube if you want to. You have a lot of options. You can even use your camera if you want to. So hold on, let me show you. There you go. See, see, that's how quick it is. It's pretty, pretty smooth, pretty awesome, completely free as well. So yeah, you have uh, you have a lot of options. You can use Instagram. You can even play games. Hold on, let me let me just fire up a game if, I, if we can. Let me see if we can play games as well. So let me just fire up the uh, Clash of Clans. Apparently, it still seems like it's working. And there you go. Okay, my town center was attacked. So let me just. Click OK. Whoa. 
pretty pretty smooth right it is so smooth <laughs> wow but yeah i mean it's a let me just go back there you go so you have a lot of options also by the way if you want to stop this really really simple as well just uh look closer if you go to the control center again and you have the option for the screen mirroring there right there just click on it and just click on stop it and there you go there you go that's how simple it was if you want to connect again just go back to the screaming tab click on connect and there you go it's connected that's how simple that's how simple that's how simple it actually is so uh pretty awesome right well that's it for the video i'll catch you in the next one peace out well that's it for the video if you like the video please leave a like and if you have any questions do let me know in the comment section below i will definitely definitely get back to you okay and uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.